Hey guys, what's up? My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent and today we're taking a look at the brand new Garmin Instinct. This is the all new Garmin Instinct and at the time of this video, it retails for $300. You can check the purchase link in the description of this video for the best pricing possible. The Garmin Instinct is a completely new lineup from Garmin and it's somewhere between the Vivo Active 3 and the Garmin Phoenix 5. I would actually put this probably closer to the Garmin Phoenix 5 because it does include some great hiking and trail features which we'll get into here in a moment. Now the compromise on this watch is that it does have a monochrome display so it does not have a color display like the Garmin Vivo Active or the Phoenix lineup and it is not a touch screen so it's similar to the Garmin Phoenix 5 in the sense that it has a five button layout and basically the exact same user interface as the Garmin Phoenix 5. Now because of that compromise of not having a color touchscreen display, you're going to get up to 15 days worth of battery life. Now in my experience of using this every day, I got closer to 10 days worth of battery life, but still that's great compared to a lot of the other smartwatch uh, experiences that you're going to get out there. Now this does come packed with a lot of sensors on board. You're going to get a built-in optical heart rate sensor. This is the same uh, you know, Elevate sensor that Garmin has been using on all of their wearables now for the last couple of years. You're also going to get a built-in GPS and GLONASS GPS. You're also going to get a built-in barometric altimeter. Uh, you're also going to get an ambient temperature sensor. So you're getting a lot here for the $300 price point. You're basically getting what I would consider to be a base or a mini version of the Garmin Phoenix 5. Now, even though the watch is lightweight, you can tell that there's a great polycarbonate, you know, plastic build quality here. It's not cheap plastic. It is a quality uh, design and build quality that Garmin is offering up. But you guys didn't come to hear about all of the different uh, features and sensors. You just want to see how this is actually going to perform in a real world context. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. I, I put this through a wide variety of exercises. The first that I did were gym-based CrossFit boot camp style exercises. And in particular, what I was looking for is to test out the built-in optical heart rate sensor to see if it would be able to accurately give me good feedback and good heart rate data, um, you know, in, in real time while I was working out. Now the Garmin Elevate sensor has been around for quite some time and it's starting to feel its age in terms of its accuracy as it relates to gym-based exercise. So I would go ahead and I would do a workout or do a, a routine or an exercise or a set. Uh, and I was comparing this against the uh, Apple Watch Series 4 on my left hand, which is has really been shown to be an accurate sensor. And as you can see here on screen, the uh, sensor on the Apple Watch would quickly acquire my active heart rate, showing 149 beats per minute. And then the Garmin would just sit there and sit there and sit there and never get my elevated heart rate after a set. So it really struggled to get my heart rate after a set you know for CrossFit boot camp weightlifting gym style exercises the Garmin Elevate sensor just isn't you know up to par in terms of what else is on the market uh, for those kinds of exercise now that being said, this does pair with ANT Plus and Bluetooth sensors. And so I did go ahead and connect uh, the Garmin Instinct to an external Bluetooth sensor, a chest strap, and obviously then it performed fantastically well and I was getting numbers uh, that were coming back that were exactly what my Apple Watch Series 4 was showing. So, uh, you know, if you're gonna use this for gym-based exercise, high-intensity interval training, at this point, the Garmin Elevate sensor just isn't enough. You're gonna want to go ahead and pair this with an external Bluetooth sensor uh, in order to really, you know, make sure that you're getting the best accuracy possible. Now, because this is an outdoor watch, it does have a lot of overlap with the Garmin Phoenix 5. This does have uh, built-in sports profiles for hiking and trail runs, and you will get get uh, some breadcrumbs and navigation features on here. You're not going to get the advanced mapping capabilities uh, that you're going to get on the Phoenix 5, but you do get some uh, great hiking features. And so uh, really, this is a fantastic option for those of you that want a robust hiking or outdoor watch and don't want to spend that six, $700 Phoenix 5 price tag. 
What's great about the uh, features on the hiking and trail run uh, profiles is that you can really customize what data you're going to get. So, you know, on something like Strava running on the Apple Watch Series 4, you're stuck with the metrics that they're going to give you, which is basically your speed and distance and time elapsed, and that's it. Uh, so not really a great hiking or trail run experience. But on the Garmin Instinct, you're able to uh, really just customize whatever screen or interface you want. If you want altitude, you can have that. If you want your heart rate information, you can have that. If you want compass direction settings, you can have that. So you're really, you know, able to customize the data and the metrics that you're going to get while you're on your hike or trail run. So for hiking and trail runs and stuff like that, this watch is definitely awesome. It, yes, it doesn't have the color topographical maps and navigation that you would get from something like the Phoenix series that Garmin has. But for 99% of individuals, this is gonna be plenty fine. It's gonna have the breadcrumbs available in the hiking menu. So uh, if you get lost, you can definitely use this to navigate your way back uh, to where you were before. Now, if you have the Apple Watch, uh, yes, there's you know apps that you can download that are specifically designated for hiking. Uh, but the Apple Watch, let's be honest, it's not gonna have the battery life. So if you're going on an extended hiking trip uh, where you're gonna be hiking all day, the Apple Watch battery is going to give up at some point. The GPS just isn't as robust. Uh, additionally, the Apple Watch just isn't as durable or tough as a device as this is. This is just a very tough device. And so if I was going on, you know, a hiking trip or a hiking day where it might take all day or even a couple of days, this is definitely a watch that I would want on my wrist, possibly even more so than the Garmin Phoenix uh, watches because this is so lightweight uh, compared to the Garmin watches. This doesn't, you know, get in the way of my coat or my jacket. Um, it's light on the wrist. And, you know, compared to the Garmin Phoenix series, you're going to get a very heavy watch with the Garmin Phoenix watches. A very heavy watch, a watch that maybe is in your way. And um, if you just want something that has great battery life and does what it needs to do for hiking and trail run kind of situations, this is definitely where it's at and I highly recommend it. For steady state cardio exercises like jogging and cycling, you're going to have a very robust GPS experience. So the GPS on this is extremely accurate. The heart rate sensor works fantastically well also for these kinds of exercises. Similar to the hiking profile, you can really customize what you're going to see on the jogging and cycling um, you know, profiles. You can see your heart rate information, your current heart rate information, your average heart rate, your current pace, average pace, distance information, lap information, cadence information, altitude information. I mean, you name it, it comes included. And, uh, and then you can go back and you can review all of that information, obviously, within the application as well along with all of the mapping uh, since this is a robust GPS watch experience. When it comes to just having a fantastic one-stop shop experience for jogging and cycling, Garmin has always been where it's at and the Garmin Instinct is no exception. It's definitely something I would recommend for those of you who do steady state uh, cardio exercises. Now for swimming, this also does have built-in swim tracking, and Garmin does have, in my opinion, some of the best uh, industry standard swim tracking available, and again, the Garmin Instinct is no exception to that. This does have that built-in swim tracking where you're going to get a swolf score, you're going to get lap information, you're going to get, you know, how many strokes per minute, how many strokes per lap, you're going to get a, a very detailed picture uh, for those of you who are, uh, you know, really um, wanting to dive in and see specific metrics for swimming. Now, of course, you're going to get Garmin's sleep tracking and all-day metrics metrics such as all day steps, distance, calories, uh, and you're also going to get a stress metric that, it, you know, it takes a look at your heart rate information and, uh, and some other variables to determine if you're physiologically stressed. And so I really think that Garmin has done a fantastic job here. There's a lot more I could go into, uh, but you know, we're going to try to keep this review short. But all I would really want to leave you with is this, and that is this is easily my favorite Garmin device right now. Um, above and beyond what anything is being offered in terms of the Garmin Phoenix series or even the Garmin Vivo Active series, which I've always been a big fan of, uh, this is my favorite Garmin watch. So I really like this. I highly recommend it for any of the uh, you know sports profiles that I've reviewed up to this point. And there's a lot more here that I haven't had a chance to go into. Uh, it's just a very well-rounded device and I would really recommend it to you guys. So I'm 
I'm going to leave a purchase link in the description below. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer those. Um, but uh, yeah, I would just say go ahead and pick this up if you're looking for a robust GPS watch that can just about do anything you throw at it, pick this up. So, hey guys, thanks for watching. My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent. We'll catch you next time.